Welcome back to another episode. This is Layla, and today the topic is don't look through his phone. <laughs> so, a lot of women put themselves into situations where they get heartbroken, and from that place of emotion, they then take radical decisions that are not good for themselves and their children. A lot of women and 20 plus year marriages within 24 hour of discovering information in their husband's phone. They then put themselves into a situation of homelessness sometimes or just any sort of like extreme poverty, especially if the woman was a stay-at-home mom, right? So obviously, I'm never going to tell anyone how to live their life and be like, you know, just accept the cheating and don't ever look through his phone and live your life like that. Like, obviously, you always have a choice if... You don't want to be in a relationship like that. You'd rather just be alone. Then, of course, that's your decision at the end of the day. But it's important at least to make that decision from a calm space and a regulated nervous system and a stash of money. So that decision cannot start within 24 hours. I mean, mentally, yes, of course, you can be like, yo, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this dude. Um, but then you have to start working on your master plan, your game plan. You have to make sure that you're able to sustain your lifestyle with your own money or with whatever money you've been putting aside. And that's the issue here. I'm hearing about so many women being in 20 plus year marriage and not saving a penny. And again, I'm not defending men here. I always take the woman's side, okay? So don't come for me. I'm just saying like women have to be smarter than this. Taking emotional decisions are never going to be good for a woman especially if she has children because she's going to bring her children into this chaos. So there are, like I said, two options here. To not look at your phone's husband is actually one of the smartest thing you can do actually because here's the thing. A lot of women has have not been raised by their mother in the right way, um, a lot of women have been raised by pygmy mothers, women that are people pleasers, that are very emotional, that are sometimes jealous of their daughters subconsciously. So they haven't taught their daughters how to have boundaries and protect themselves and protect their light feminine, protect their heart. And so a lot of women still live in La La Land and think, my husband would never do that. Like, we have so many great memories and conversations. We have these amazing children. Like, my husband would never do that. Well, let me remind you something. The SEX industry is a billion dollar industry. And this is just the truth, by the way. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just exposing the truth. If, you know, some women haven't been told that. So if you've been in that industry, you already, know what, you already know what I'm talking about, right? Or if you know someone close from you who has been working in the industry, then you, all, you also know what I'm talking about. 99% of the clients in the SEX industry, which is pretty large, right? All across the globe. There are many different levels and spectrums to it. Not everybody has SEX with their clients, um, depending on where they're located, the nature of the, the job or whatever they're doing. But still, it's, it's still a sensual occupation. Let's call it that way. 99% of the clients 
across the globe are married. And, you know, people that are, that are like, it's not true. My husband would never do that. You know, it's fine. Everybody gets to, you know, choose for their own selves. Like if someone wants to live in La La Land for 20, 30 years and then look through their husband phones and be like, oh my God, he's been cheating on me with some 20 year old, 18 year old, you know, SEX worker and then break their own heart and then go through this emotional turmoil because that's what it is of going to therapy and taking medication and making your kids go through this whole chaos because you know obviously they can see that the, the their mother is not okay some mothers are extremely emotionally immature and they're going to drag the children into this mess and tell them you know your father you wouldn't believe that you know this is what he did well the reality is the majority of married men do that they just they're usually just very discreet you know some are more discreet than others some are good with technology some are not but this is the reality this is what the majority of men do the majority, I said, not everybody. There's probably like 1% that doesn't do it, that are faithful. Um, and it's probably just because they don't have the funds to cheat. Like they just don't have the money. They don't. And that's the excuse. Or um, they might not have the opportunity to do it. So, for example, like a lot of men do it when their wife is on vacation, you know, just to make sure that she's not going to come home late at some point, you know. So that's why when she leaves for travel or, you know, she's on a trip, you know, in another state, visiting her family, whatever, this is the best time for a man to cheat because he knows he's not going to get caught, right? Especially if he has the funds. So we need the two combinations, the funds and the opportunity, the space. So there are no ways to prevent this. And the only thing a woman can do that is actually smart is to not focus on that, is to actually focus her energy on herself. Like if you have a life, like if you have stuff to do, appointments, um, you have a massage at noon, uh, you have Pilates at 2 p.m., like you have stuff to do, and of course your husband is providing for all of this, then it should be the last of your worries to see who he's talking to when he's bored. Oh, I forgot the business travel the business travel as well is the perfect opportunities for men to cheat. Sometimes they cheat not with SEX workers, sometimes it's just another woman at the hotel that's also on a business trip. Uh, you know these like network event? Yeah. People really network, but like past 11 p.m. in their bedroom. <laughs> um, yeah, so women do it too, but it's it's mostly men, of course, and uh, it's mostly men that pay as well, SEX workers. So the best thing, like I said, is to bring back the focus to ourselves. There are many, especially if your husband is respectful, like obviously if you're in an abusive relationship, like leave you know, have, of course, an escape plan, a safe plan, you know, make sure that you're doing things properly. Uh, but if your husband is not abusive, like he's very respectful, he's really good with the kids, he's a good provider, protector, you know, he's responsible. You don't have this like crazy passion with him, but you know, he's, he's gentle, like he's, um, yeah, he's just a nice person. Of course, then you have to understand that men do not have the same emotional bond as women. Actually, most men don't have emotional bond at all. That's why they're able to have SCX with different women during their business trip and come back as if nothing happened. They can literally FaceTime their wife like five minutes after the act and just be like, hi, baby. Hi, honey. Like they don't give a fuck that's that's what it is you know and so there are no it's impossible to prevent this that's like 
that's a, a wishful thinking, you know? Um, if 99% of men do that, like, you can be like, well, I'm going to be with the 1%. Yeah, maybe, but you're, you're never going to know. You're never going to know because it's going to happen behind your back. So it's not something that you're going to be able to prevent. So like I said, when you have a life, when you have hobbies, projects, um, of course, you don't want to be, um, well, you can have your own business ventures whatever you're doing on the side but of course you never want to outshine your husband because that's actually a way for you to keep your power by giving him the illusion that he's the man he's the big boss he's the one you know that's uh successful but you can also have on this side um some projects whatever even if they're very successful it's best to just keep it to yourself because at least you know all the money you're making goes to your pockets and yeah it's just it's it's yours you know you've built something for yourself so this is what i mean by don't look through his phone of course i've explained in details the context and situations where um it is appropriate to leave a man like of course if you're um not feeling good you're feeling drained energetically like you don't look good you don't feel good uh he, usually it's connected to him being uh abusive in some way shape or form but once again to really rise above our emotions is the key to winning in life you know a lot of women make some really drastic emotional permanent decisions and the people around them have to pay the price. The children have to pay the price for that. So you have to weigh the pros and cons, you know. Um, if you have a respectful partnership, then your children get to be raised in an environment that's stable. They get to go to, you know, private school. Um, you guys might live in a you know, luxurious neighborhood, uh, you might be able to travel multiple, multiple times a year, those are all things, by the way, and even if people are like, well, it's, it's just money, like, it's just material, it's stability, like, you're raising your children in the most safe, um, and stable environments when you do that, and they get to grow up with both of their parents in the same house, that have a respectful dynamic doesn't have to be like this whole passion like notebook type of thing you know but if respect is there then the foundation of the dynamic is there and also side note um why does the woman have to like worry about um her husband's affairs like the thing about being a woman is to have to like you have to worry about yourself you have to worry about like he has to worry about you why are you worried about him that's that's the big question here he should be worried about you looking so freaking hot and so beautiful that another man with more money than him is going to scoop you at some point like he should be you know on top of his game making sure that he pleases you so you don't stray away because guess you know guess what that game can be played on both sides you know there are women there are women there are men that are more established more successful than him that have more to give to you more stability more safety more you know traveling plans more gifts than him that should be his worry, you know, to always level up his game. Anyway, so that's it for today's episode. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow.